Welcome to the world of probiotic foods. This is Cultured Food Life with your host, Donna Schwenk. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining me. And today we're going to be talking about one of your most important bacteria that resides in your gut. And that is called bifidobacteria. It is the one that your mother gave you at birth. And bifidobacteria became the most dominant, predominant microorganism in the intestines within a week of birth. Um, they call this the young bacteria, and it's extremely important for adults too, but it often diminishes when it doesn't have to. And many people are getting low in it, and when they do, you start to see problems. Um, it does so many things. It's responsible for help activating your immune system. Um, it will help prevent infections. It helps to digest dietary fiber, and it, it activates your immune system to fight pathogens and produce vitamins and very important chemicals like short-chain fatty acids. It's really important that you have those. And I've written a big article on why short-chain short fatty acids are so important for your body. Now, when you have a lot of bifido, it's really important because it feeds the other bacteria too. So if you have a good establishment of bifidobacteria, you're going to feed all the other healthy uh, microorganisms in your gut too, and it's going to give you an overwhelming majority of good bacteria, which is really important. Now, low counts of bifidobacteria have been linked to things like um, diabetes, obesity, autism, and cancer. Um, when you have lower levels of this bacteria in your body, you have these things are more prevalent in people who are struggling with those different ailments. And, um, it's, it's pretty, it's a pretty dominant bacteria and you have to be, um, really understand how it all works to create more of this bacteria in your gut. And as you get older, um, you, it can really diminish down to like 5%. And that's when people start to have health problems. And, um, one of the ways that you can feed bifido is something called human milk oleosaccharides. It's a specific carbohydrate, and it's essentially it's what's in your mother's milk. And it's when you can when the baby consumes the mother's milk, it gets these oleosaccharides. It's basically a prebiotic, and it feeds that bifido that you get from your mom, and it makes it grow like crazy. Now HMOs, you can you can actually take them in a in a powder form or capsule form, and they're, you're not drinking human milk. It's a it's a prebiotic that's specially made by a process of fermentation. Um, but when you take this stuff, it, it makes your bifido grow like crazy and it's very powerful. And when you start taking it, you're going to be feeding the other good bacteria too. So not only when you consume hum, um, HMOs or human milk oleosaccharides, um, it not only does that help promote bifido, but also feeds a very, very important um, bacteria in your gut called acromantia. And that Acromantia minnesophilia helps to heal and seal your gut and protect that gut lining, um, which is one of the foundations of health. Because if that gut lining starts leaking and get holes in it, um, then you're leaking things out into your bloodstream that aren't good for you. It's basically your, when your gut is sealed and, and Acromantia is healthy in your gut, which I think makes up about a fourth of your gut bacteria, um, it will strengthen that barrier to the outside world and really keep you healthy. And if without it, you can have things like IBS, um, leaky gut syndrome, you know, there's a host of other problems that it can cause. And HMOs help to feed that along with things like apple peels. Um, Abby loves apple peels. And if you don't have enough fiber in your diet, acromancy is, is a funny thing. It's like a Dr. Jekyll versus Hyde. If you don't have enough fiber Acromantia will start to eat your gut lining, which isn't good either, because then you do have holes in your gut. So if you don't keep that fed and happy, um, then you will get things like leaky gut syndrome and, and problems in your gut that can lead to many other ailments. So you really want to feed it. And HMOs are really great at that. Um, they help, they really help you improve your immune system and they help your immune system respond to things like it inhibits pathogens like E. coli. And it reduces inflammation. And there's a bifidobacterium longdom, which is a subspecies of infetus, a bacteria, uh, bifidoinfetus, also will boost the production of proteins 
that close the gaps between gut cells to keep microbes out of the bloodstream and increase anti-inflammatory molecules that boost the immune system. But to achieve that, you have to feed bifido impetus HMOs. So um, to, to get it going, once it's established, then you don't have to take it anymore. Um, this also can help with cognitive health. Um, your brain is going to work better. The metabolites in HMO really do promote brain health and neuro, uh, neurotransmission and cogn cognition. So all of those things are going to enhance how you're thinking and processing. And it's a, it's really important. It's, it, guys, this, uh, this could be a four-hour podcast because there's so many things that bifidobacteria does. Okay, so how do you get more bifidobacterium? Like I said, you start out with HMOs. And start out slowly. You're building a lot of good bacteria in your gut, and they work in numbers, so you want them to do their job going after pathogens and basically cleaning out the, the bad guys. Um, so you want to go slowly, take breaks if you need to. Um, and I have an article on a healing crisis if you experience that. Um, and if what I did was I took, when I wanted to build up my bifidobacteria, I took one scoop of HMOs because you get there's you can sell them. The people at Layer Origin have made this wonderful product through the process of fermentation. It's fabulous, and you just put a scoop in. I always put it in my smoothie in the morning, my Keeper um, smoothie. I would stick it in there, and I would kind of do it every other day for a while, and then after two weeks, I would add two scoops to get it really going. And um, I would also give it things like uh, berries, frozen fruit and berries. And uh, if you haven't heard of red phenol powders, they are fabulous. They're so good for you. It's just powdered berries, apple peel. This one has, the one that I have is cranberries, apple, strawberries. I think it's goji berries. I can't remember where they all is. And it's all ground to a powder. It's a red phenol powder that really just skyrockets your immune system, your bifidobacteria. And it gives you a lot of energy. I mean, it's it's pretty powerful stuff. And I did this every day until the jar was empty. And then, then you've got a really good established bifidobacteria. And then I, I didn't take it after that because it didn't really need to. I started, um, I continued to feed that bacteria every day with things like berries and my kefir smoothie because kefir feeds bifido too. And I, to keep it fed and happy, uh, fibrous vegetables, fruits, all of that is going to keep it growing and doing very well. You remember, you can change your gut in a short amount of time just by changing what you eat. And it happens really fast. But this goes both ways, go both good and bad. If you eat a lot of garbage, your microbes will suffer and so will you. And you'll feel it. You'll feel the difference. So once you understand that you have the ability to just steer your immune population towards health and you start to feel good, um, and you start to understand that feeding your good bacteria does that job so effectively. It kind of gives you tools on how to help your health. Um, I had somebody recently that I was helping who was having all kinds of issues, but she'd taken numerous antibiotics, so many back to back to back, and she was starting to have things like um, food allergies, allergic reactions, histamine responses. She was getting asthma, uh, but she had essentially killed off so much of her good bacteria, and then she never replenished it. So she started having a kefir smoothie every day. She put um, some HMOs in it. She put some of the phenol powders in it. And she said she feels amazing now. So um, it is, it's very easy to do. It's not hard to do. And it's one of the most important things you can do to really strengthen your immune system. So when you first take HMOs, I want to tell you what to look for. Um, when you start noticing the gut, gut health effects, when you start to get a lot of bifido, um, your, the populations of bifido will grow up to 80 to 90%, you'll start to see some really good signs. You'll have one to three bowel movements a day. Um, they'll have little or no odor in them. Your energy level will start to grow, and you'll start to have more and more energy. Um, you'll have a, a lack of GI distress, you know, related issues. Your gut's going to calm down a lot. And this gut microbiome changes really quickly. And this was... This is also why you tend to notice a positive result from taking the HMOs in the first three days. It just depends on where your current gut health is, and it can take time. So for the best results to really get your bifido is to take HMOs for two weeks to a month, the powder, and then add to that powder things like kefir 
polyphenols, which is raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, pomegranates, cherries, or you could just simply use a red field powder. I sell one. You can kind of get them everywhere. They're all over the market now, and they're very powerful, and they give you a lot of energy, and that's a great way to feed your uh, Bifido. Um, and then you can also resistant starches. Those are so important for Bifido. Cooled and cooked potatoes, like, you know, when you cook a potato, it turns to sugar, but when you cool it, it returns to resistant starch, which resists digestion and it feeds your microbiome. So if you have a baked potato, let it cool for 10 minutes, let it cool down, and you're going to get tons of resistant starch. Same with sweet potatoes, brown rice, black beans, chickpeas, lentils, all of those are resistant starch. I also have something called um, oat milk yogurt plus, which is cooked and cooled um, oat milk that has a ton of resistant starch in it because it's cooled down. Um, then you, there's other things like inulin and beta glucons, which is in green bananas, steel cut oats, Jerusalem artichokes or sunchokes, which are the same thing. And by the way, I just made, if you haven't ever had Jerusalem artichokes, you need to try them. They call them sunchokes too. I made the most delicious soup I have ever had out of sunchokes, which are mostly just inulin, which is a prebiotic. It's a root vegetable. Holy cow. I cooked onions and sunchokes and I think I had broth in it. I don't even know what else. I don't even think I put that much else in it. Made it into one of the most delicious soups. I It was so good that my whole family ate it and I only got a few bites. Um, so I'm going to have to make it again. I'm actually putting it out in my new ebook that's coming out in May, and it's a soups and salad ebook. But it is, I think it's my favorite soup. I couldn't believe how good it was. It is fabulous. But Jerusalem artichokes are so good for you, and I, I just never knew what they were, um, but I do now. And my daughter's actually growing some for me in her thing, but it takes, it's a tuber, so it takes like eight months. But anyway, we're going to be having most more of those. Another great one that has inulin is asparagus, mushrooms, seaweed, garlic. And I have a product called Prebio Plus that has a lot of inulin in it and other prebiotics. And onions do too. Um, it's so good for you. Uh, chicory root also has inulin and it's fabulous. I drink a coffee that has chicory root in it. It's got coffee and chicory root. I just absolutely love it. And that way it's just... It's just a great way to really feed your gut and to really keep those microbes in your gut healthy. Another thing is raw or lightly cooked green vegetables, whether it's boy choy, cauliflower, green beans, broccoli, spinach, kale, arugula, all of those are fabulous for your gut health. And then fermented foods with bifido in them. And I have three of them. I actually made, two, well, I have two of them. I actually made a couple products with bifido because I thought it was so important. I have a product called Yogurt Plus and you can, it, it has bifido in it and also kefir soda, which is so good. It's just fabulous. And it's a bubbly carbonated drink that one of the good bacteria in it is bifido longdom and it's fabulous. Um, I can't, we have it in our fridge constantly now and it's super fun to make, super easy to make and people are really enjoying it. Um, so HMOs, the good people at Layer Origins made this fabulous product. I sell it, they sell it. Um, it's a, I'm very so appreciative of this company. They also make the simple red powder that I sell and the apple pill powder. And I love them because I use them all the time. And I think they're so good. And I'm going to put the links um, to this. It'll be in the article. And, then, and you can click on that in the description below. And you can see where all these things are. Uh, I have Yogurt Plus with Bifido bacteria, like I said. I just made a new uh, recipe with oat, homemade oat milk, which takes like a couple minutes to make. And then you make it into yogurt. Oh gosh, it's thick and creamy. Oh, yogurt is very, very good. Um, and I really like the way that it turns out. But you can make all different kinds of um, yogurts with Yogurt Plus. We even have a raw milk yogurt plus that's really good. And uh, it, it tastes fabulous. So it's one of my favorite yogurts. And then, like I said, we had the kefir soda, which contains many beneficial strains, including Bifido and good yeast to help you make a fun bubbly and healthy replacement for soda pop. It's so much better than drinking the stuff that's on the market. And the strains in the and the strains of the good yeast metabolize the natural sugars found in the fruit juice or cocoa water and it results in a very effervescent drink. And here's something cool I haven't told anybody yet. 
we just got back the um, testing and it it eats about 85% of all the sugars in the soda by about day four. Um, and in coconut water, it does 50% of the sugars, but um, in about four days, but there isn't as much sugar in coconut water. But um, that's a, you're not getting all the sugar, the good bacteria and good yeast are consuming that. So, and then I talked about the red phenol powder that helps feed acromancia and bifidobacteria. And you can just get it in a simple powder form to get a bunch all at once. Um, I sell a product called Simple Reds, and it's two made by Layer Origins. and love it. But there are other red phenol powders that are good, too. So um, all of this together makes for a very healthy, strong gut. And I have more information about this um, on this article on my website. Um, there's a lot of information that people are needing to see and know. Um, so I have it all listed out really well. And there's more um, research uh, more studies that are shown that it would be really interesting to so many people. So check out that uh, link in the description below. It'll have the article because they usually have articles and podcasts together. So you can either read or listen, whichever is easiest for you. So thanks for listening, guys. Uh, take care of that very important bacteria in your gut called Bifido, and it will take care of you. Have a great week, and we will talk to you next time.